I'm back. Time for a new reading. It goes for 12 minutes. Let's go. It's Karen, and welcome to your week. Hey. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Sorry. Big ideas or awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So, oh, babe, additional information? Well, that's all right, it's all good. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. Okay, all right, Chica, it's all right, honey. All right, Let's sit here for a second, just for a second. Okay, whoo. Major Arcana, a lovely card. See the woman here gently handling the lion. The lion is showing a lot of trust and uh, passive trust, being passive, letting her. There you go, Chica. Enjoy some of that so nice fresh smell. A sense Smells here nice. Of truly, oh, yeah, it does. Huh? That you are capable of handling the mm. obstacles, the adversity, the tough times. Oh, yeah, you got to soldier on through the hard times. Just go with the flow. You know? That's going to carry you through. There's a sense here of showing kindness and consideration versus using force or controlling someone or really trying to, to grab a hold of a matter. You show strength through being um, compassionate and vulnerable. That's true strength. So here... We have a sense of really being able to negotiate situations through compromise, through, you know, reaching out and fairness. Mm -hmm. So for this week, it's a big idea for you that you, whatever's coming your way, you have to believe that you are strong enough to handle whatever it is. And so with this sense of strength here, we have another major arcana card. We have temperance. Temperance! And the angel here is... Flowing the water from one cup to the other is the perfect mix. Nothing is spilling over. And so really, temperance is the sense that of integration. Balance. It is yeah. the balance of all of the elements. That's right. Physical, spiritual, emotional, and finding uh, finding the middle ground. Not doing That's all we want in life, don't we? It goes for everyone. You just want the perfect balance in life. You don't want, you know, anything to be out of balance. You want everything to be in sync and perfectly balanced as you're going through your journey, you know? Whatever it is for you, you know? It's about creating and, and attracting perfect balance. That's in all areas. Financial, love and relationships. Shut down your summer cooling, mate. Being on your spiritual self, devote time to do so. If you're working on improving your physical health or your your mindset, then take the time to do so. Yeah, create that balance. Because temperance, it's about going down the middle. It's about not flirting with the extremes because the extremes will pull you off. Track, yeah. Yeah. That's true. The other thing I would say about temperance is, again, pay attention to the messages that you're feeling, your instinct, the guides, you know, the spirit of sending guides, your angels. They are there. They are, they are giving us messages all the time. And be mindful of them. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so the star, Major Arcana, another... Very strong message, again, of finding the balance between the physical self and the spiritual self, the emotional self. Without close here, open to, open to all the things in life, being your authentic <laughs> Jake self. is trying to catch this bug. <laughs> not feeling that you have to cover up. Yes. The star is about trusting the stars, being inspired by the stars. We look to the stars for guidance when, we're, when we feel lost. And so with the star, the underlying message is to have faith that the universe is going to push you in the right direction, that everything is going to work out. You must have hope. You must have faith. You must believe. You may feel low. You may feel exhausted. You may feel torn up. But 
ultimately you have to get back to a place where you are trusting and open and where you are having your faith. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to be mad. God, divine source, the universe is going to take you where you need to go. That everything's going to be okay. You have these additional messages of finding the, the middle ground of finding the right mix, the right balance in your life. Oh, baby. And that you have the strength. And so here's the Ace of Wands, a gift or blessing from the universe. He's coming in. And this gift or blessing is telling you to go out there and make things happen for yourself. Nobody's going to do it for you. You That's need right. to take action. You need to take this club. You need to whack people in the head with it. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, Claire, get out of that nasty mindset. <laughs> of being a douche. Whoa. Only you know. And you know what's going to be the right mix for you. Of course. Spiritually, physically. That's true. Take the knowledge, but make the plan and start to put the plan into play. The Ace of Wands, it's take this club and go forth and create. Yep. What do you want and whack to people in the head with it that give you the Don't shits. It. <laughs> take it, baby. Take it. <laughs> go with it. Run with it. The energy to go forth and to create. Do whatever it is you want to do in your life. Exactly the life and what you want. That's right. Uh oh. Uh oh. So we have the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Wands and your possible outcome. You may have to defend yourself, your ideas, your beliefs, or your actions. That people may get into conversation with you, they may get into a discussion with you, where you are on the defense, where you're having to protect yourself. From idiots. <laughs> so beware, Pisces, you may have to do a lot of battling with idiots um, around you. This is a sense of support and stand up for what you believe in. That's right. Don't let people rain on your parade. Don't That's let people right. pull you down. That's right. You know, you have the strength to deal with whatever Idiots. <laughs> you do have the strength to deal with morons. <laughs> yeah, just ignore the idiots. And just focus on your goals and what you want to do with your own life and stuff what anyone else thinks and says to you. If you Put them in their place. Skewer them. Your actions or your beliefs, then yes. Do so, and do so with confidence. Oh, yes. And then we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Uh-oh. <laughs> so the Five of Cups in its upright position, it's about having a sense of loss, having a sense of regret, of disappointment. Something didn't work out the way that you had hoped, and you, it's lingering. It's almost like you're grieving for this lost aspect of no, Chica, you're very sexy. There you go. Start kneading the dough. Make me a pizza. I want pepperoni. <laughs> I want pepperoni. Go on, get cracking. Make me a pizza. You know how cats knead the dough. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> you be like, what? <laughs> Go make me a pizza. Wash those paws first. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, God help me. I'm in a weird mood today. <laughs> oh, she's doing it. Here she goes. Now need that dough. <laughs> she's like, I'll make your family pizza, mum. <laughs> larger than normal. Yeah, larger than normal. 